Thank you very much. Just got a haircut. It's not funny, I did. I got a cut at a haircutting school. Just kind of weird when the instructor's behind you and you hear him going, no, no, no. <laughs> Saw an ad for these new condoms, Magnums. Have you seen those? Magnums for the guy that needs a little more. <laughs> what a great marketing idea. What guy could buy anything but that? <laughs> Hi, condoms, please. Magnums? Now, nah, I'll take those Tom Thumb rubbers you have over there. <laughs> Those magnums are too big for me, they fall off. I have to uh, use a twist tie, I don't like it really. It's... Last time I used a magnum, I lost it, and nine months later, my kid came out with a shower cap. You know, my daughter just came home from school the other day, and she said, you know, Dad, they taught us about condoms in school today, and they showed us how to put them on. And I said, on what? And she said, they rolled it down on a cucumber. I said, boy, they're setting them up for a letdown. I saw Sally Struthers on this commercial on TV. Just 55 cents, the price of a cup of coffee feeds this kid and his family for a week. Yeah, where is that? Because I want to move there. <laughs> Sally Struthers. Couldn't they find somebody a little skinnier to show you the starving kids? <laughs> this looks like a Macy's Day float. It's nice to be here. They put me in a nice hotel. Got up to my room. They have a little card on the pillow. It says, for turndown service, dial 66. I dialed 66, and this girl got on and said, I wouldn't go out with you if you're the last guy on earth. <laughs> they had a fire drill, like 2 in the morning. I never heard of this in a hotel. I'm in bed, and all of a sudden, this thing goes off. Ding, 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 ding. Prepare to evacuate. I just did in my bed. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I run out in the hallway naked, and then the speaker comes back on. This has been a drill. Return to your room. Which would be easy if I had my key with me. But I had to go down to the lobby naked. Hi, you never the key for 225? Do you have any identification? Is this good? Because that's all I have right now. I'm flying home after the show. I love to fly, but they say the weirdest things when you're on the plane. In the event of a loss of cabin pressure, a small mask will drop from the ceiling, put it on, and breathe normally. Who here could breathe normally if they saw the mass dropping from the ceiling? <laughs> this plane is equipped with five emergency exits, not including the big one that'll be created on impact. <laughs> My favorite's in the event of a water landing. Yeah, water landing or crashing in the ocean. <laughs> what airline has water landings? Your seat cushion can be used as a flotation device yeah, until the sharks come. <laughs> then it's a bobber. <laughs> My brother scuba dives. He says, you know what you're supposed to do when a shark's bothering you? Bothering? <laughs> it's not like they're going, hey, you got 50 cents? <laughs> he said, you punch him in the face. Yeah, and then when that doesn't work, you poke him in the eye with your stump. Punch a shark. What if he wasn't even going to attack you? What if he's just curious and he's swimming by and you go, psh, psh, psh. hey, what was that for? I thought you were going to attack me. Yeah, I'm going to now. I was going to let you go, but the other sharks are watching. It doesn't look good now. You know what's really weird when they, when they have a crash and you watch the news and they say that people have to be identified by their dental records? I was thinking, if they don't know who you are, how do they know who your dentist is? <laughs> I saw an ad for a Time Life book. A guy jumped out of an airplane, fell 30,000 feet, his chute didn't open, and he lived to tell the story. Yeah, I would have loved to hear that story. <laughs> You guys have been a great crowd. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.